Hello everyone, in today's video we will discuss this fun ICAS problem about strawberry jelly. Let's get started. Sarah is making jelly for eight people by using this recipe. Strawberry jelly for four people. Ingredients, 425 millilitres apple juice, 140 grams frozen strawberries, one tablespoon of gelatin. Sarah has only a tablespoon and a half cup to measure the apple juice. She uses this table as a guide. Liquid measures. One tablespoon equals to 20 millilitres. One cup equals to 250 millilitres. Which combination will be the closest to make the amount of apple juice we need for the jelly? For eight people. A, number of half cups, three, number of tablespoons, three. B, number of half cups, three, number of tablespoons, five. C, number of half cups, six, number of tablespoons, three. D, number of half cups, six, number of tablespoons, five. Let's get started. So Sarah is making jelly for eight people, not four. So we need to figure out the amount of jelly to make for eight people, not four. So to solve this problem, we will determine the total amount of apple juice needed to make for eight people. And then explain and then find the combination of measurements that will be closest to that amount using the given measurement tools. To make this, I, to make it easier, I will explain this step by step. Step one, we need to double the amount of apple juice, which is from 425 plus another 425 equals to 850. So we have 850 milliliters to make for eight people because double four equals to eight step two understanding the measurements one cup equals to 250 milliliters one and a half one a half cup equals to 125 millilitres because half of 250 is 125 and one tablespoon equals to 20 millilitres so now we understand the measurements step three seeing which one is the closest to 850 millilitres Let's try them out. Option A. So option A says it has three half cups. So three times 125 equals to 375. And there are there are three tablespoons so three times 20 equals to 60. so our total so our total is 300 375 plus 60 which equals to 435 that's not close at all so what about we try option b so option b says it also has three half cups so three times 125 equals two 375 and 
This time it has five tablespoons, so five times 20 equals to 100. So our total is 475. That's still not close at all. What about option C? Option C has it says it says it has six half cups, so six times one hundred and twenty five equals to seven hundred and fifty. And it says it has three tablespoons, so three times twenty equals to sixty, as we know. So our total for this one is Our total for this one is 810. That's really close, but not what we're looking for. So our last option is D, because we have six half cups. Because we have six half cups, so six times 125 equals to 750. And for this one, we have five tablespoons, so five times 20 equals to 100. And that together equals to 850. That's just what we're looking for. So our answer is D, because it gives exactly 850 millilitres. I hope this was fun. Thank you. Bye.